Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a work and career reading for Leo from the 26th of August to the 8th of September 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a reading that resonates with your personal circumstances, then please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies as well as my deck walkthrough series. You'll find those very, very interesting and very, very helpful. So like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with a general energy read for you and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. And I'm using the Gypsy Witch deck for that particular read. So let's go. The first card is the ring and this is about signing new contracts. There's some kind of offer that has come in. You've been waiting for this particular offer with that Queen of Hearts and it looks like uh, it's being made to you and it looks like there's going to be some kind of new contract that comes in. You've got the eight of uh, hearts over here walking away from old situations so maybe moving away from an old job that you were in um, you know you worked in for a very very uh, um, long time you put a lot of investment of your time and effort into that particular job and now you're going to go and start afresh somewhere else and you're signing contracts somewhere else this is also about the cat and this is about working very very independently so some kind of job where you are uh, solely responsible for whatever happens or, or you're in some kind of leadership role coming up for you there Something has gone on uh, in your previous job. There has been a lot of drama there, um, and you know there might have been a lot of problems. And now you're coming, you're managing to clear away those energies, and you're coming out of that uh, particular situation. So there's been a lot of um, conflict that has gone on uh, there at that old job, and it looks like you're leaving that behind and moving on to something new. Uh, you've got the uh, king of um, spades over here and the bride so this is about breaking contracts and maybe going and signing contracts somewhere else or this could also be about legal news coming in over there for you in the past and you wanted you know you've been looking for a new job and it looks like this new job offer has come in and you will be signing a new contract the ace of cups is a new offer coming in and that queen of cups with that ring shows that you're taking that offer accepting that offer and signing a new contract there so going into the future, you've got that eye card of there. So watch your back. Make sure that you are using all your skills and talents in whatever you're doing. Uh, and try not to stress out too much. Um, this is also a need for you to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a rest, because you have been dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety. And there is some good news coming in about money over there. You've got the king of uh, diamonds together with the letter, showing that some really good news coming in about extra money coming in. So you will get some uh, message about money. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the wheel of the uh, tarot for the main read. So we've got the Seven of Swords there. So you've been dealing with a lot of deceptive, nasty people over there. A lot of gossip going on behind your back. A lot of uh, ill intent as well. So people doing something very deceptive. Uh, maybe, you know, trying to sabotage your efforts and sabotage your plans. And all of that going on behind your back. Um, so you do need to have eyes at the back of your head, really, and uh, watch your back. Because uh, there's a lot of lies, deceit, maybe promises being made. You're dealing with somebody that's really nasty. You've got that uh, Knight of Swords over here. So this is about nastiness, uh, you know, um, dealing with people that uh, are there to... There might be some one particular person that is causing a lot of problems, stirring up, up, up a lot of problems and giving you quite a hard time as well. And maybe this is the reason why you want to end this particular job. So you've got that Ten of Pentacles followed by the Knight of Swords over there. And the Knight of Swords is really maybe even about breaking contracts with this particular job because you've been dealing with so much of lies and deceit over there, wanting to end that particular job. Or maybe even dealing with a really nasty energy or nasty person there. So a lot of problems, a lot of conflict, and this is the reason why you want to leave this job. Um, you do need to, uh, you know, keep all your information to yourself. Don't tell anybody what you're about to do. Uh, you also need to be well-researched up 
as well. So, um, you know, keep all information to yourself. Don't divulge. And it looks like there's an offer that's going to be coming in there with that King of Cups energy. So some kind of offer coming in. There might be some further learning or further study going on. So in the past, you've got the Nine of Swords. You've been very, very stressed out about what has been going on. A lot of people have been saying a lot of things, and this has got you really upset about what is going on. It seems like you just want to leave everything and going and run away from it. There's a lot of conflict. You've been waiting for things to be to change. You know, it's almost as though you know your whole world is a bit upside down over there. Uh, you're feeling very, very isolated and have been feeling a little stuck in this particular situation. But it looks like there's that offer coming in, and you know you've been thinking very, very long and hard about ending this particular job and moving on. It looks like you want more freedom as well. Uh, so uh, you know the the world card is a card ruled by Saturn, and it's it's a card that shows that there's been a lot of problems that you have been dealing with with that um, Saturn energy going through it. So going to the future, you've got the Hermit. Uh, so you might have to branch off on your own. Uh, and uh, there might be a lot of study coming in as well. So you might need to do some kind of, uh, you know, bridging course or some kind of refresher course, some kind of study uh, involved uh, so that, um, you know, you can move forward. Um, this is also about being very focused on that career. You have to be very single-minded. Uh, and, you know, this is the month for Virgo. So this is about spending a lot more time by yourself as well with that particular energy. You've got the Six of Cups over here. So there's an offer that is coming in. You might have worked with this particular person in the past, and it looks like they might make you an offer for a partnership um, there with that Six of Cups. You've got the Three of Pentacles, so you will you will get a job very, very soon, uh, you know, and uh, you'll be working pretty hard at it over there. You can see this man's doing very, something very artistic, but working by himself. So taking, uh, you know, control, uh, being in some kind of leadership position, but also working pretty much by yourself there. Maybe doing something artistic as well. And being very, very focused. You've got that Virgo card sitting next to that Three of Pentacles there. And it's going to be bringing in uh, some good money there. So you're waiting for news to come in with that Prince of Cups. You are waiting for that offer to come in there. So going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Four of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Moon card. The Four of Swords is, you know, if you're in transition at the moment, you do need to take a little bit of a break. You might be going through some kind of illness as well. You do need to recover from it, get your strength back, get a new perspective, get some clarity on the situation, uh, get a new strategy, really, uh, and, uh, you know, just take some time out because you have been very, very stressed. You can see that with that Nine of uh, Swords being very, very stressed. So this is culminating in maybe some physical illness and you do need to take some rest because sitting next to it is the Temperance card. So you need to get your strength back over there. Whatever you're going for, make sure that you're showing people you have all the skills and you are very, very, you know, you have a lot of knowledge and that you can apply it to this particular job. But the Temperance card is talking about balance, getting that body in order, um, you know, making sure that you're eating well, sleeping well, getting that rest, getting some kind of, um, you know, relaxation coming in to get you out of this feeling so that you can, uh, you know, recharge your battery so that you can do that work. Um, you're also still feeling very, very depressed with that moon card over there. Uh, so, you know, a need for you to get some more clarity in that situation as well. Come up with a new strategy and don't think of, you know, all the worst things that can happen. Whatever that you're going through, this phase is about to end. You're coming to an end of that cycle of feeling miserable, but you do need to recharge your batteries. This is very speaking very, very loudly. Um, that you do need to get some kind of a break uh, before you start this new job and accept this offer because you will be working pretty hard pretty soon. And if you don't take a break now, uh, you know, you might uh, end up um, burning out. So you do make sure that you take that break. So uh, this is cards from the uh, Fairy Tarot for the Oracle Read, and the first card is the Justice card, and this is about balance. Uh, so take time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. So there is something legal as well that's, uh, you know, you're, that's pending, a decision that's pending as well with the Justice card, uh, maybe even breaking contracts or sorting through contracts as well. You're sorting through a lot of legal issues as well. You've got the Three of Winter over there, so reach out for others for comfort and support. You grow stronger from the situation. Now, there has been a breakdown of communication within this particular situation that you're working for. Maybe you just left, uh, you know, in a hurry and you're sorting through some legal issues or official issues over there. You are pretty upset about what had happened. Uh, and maybe, you know, there was somebody around you that gave you quite a hard time. Um, but you're trying to sort through these issues as well. And maybe even waiting for some legal news to come in over there. You've got the two of spring over there. Bright new future manifested through hard work and creativity. 
partnering with others who share your uh, dreams. Great progress being made. So it looks like whatever you're going to be working in, there's some kind of partnership that comes in. Uh, you will have to make a choice with this two of, sword, uh, two of spring about whether to stay or whether to go. You are at that crossroads at the moment. Uh, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of problems and a lot of difficult people. It looks like you're going to pack your things and move as well. You're going to accept this new offer that comes in. Now, it could be, um, you know, a new job offer somewhere else, but it also could be even a promotion that comes in for you and maybe some further study is required for you to actually fill this particular position. So it could be leaving an old situation or even getting promoted. But whatever is going on, it, you get away from the conflict. So you are moving away from the conflict and you might be moving working with somebody, a kind of partnership coming in there for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.